A Taliban patrol unit marching on the rugged mountainous Pech Valley in eastern Afghanistan. Armed with rocket-propelled grenades and AK-47 rifles, they are moving to their new headquarters. An outpost that U.S. troops had recently abandoned in what looks like a shift in their military strategy in Afghanistan. This part of the country along the border with Pakistan has been widely seen by the Americans as one of the main infiltration routes of the Taliban. Controlling this valley was time-consuming and very costly. More than a hundred U.S. troops died trying to secure this area in the Kunar province. Now it's under the control of the Taliban. We will have a permanent base here and we will maintain control of it. And as long as our commander Mullah Omar is alive and our guide, we will fight for him. The infidels failed to hold this outpost. Our jihad against American troops will continue and one day we will reach the gates of America. Many armed groups operate here, like the Salafis and the Hizb Islami led by Hikmat Yar. They don't have a joint command and they sometimes fight over control of strategic swathes of land. But they say they are united in their fight against foreign troops. This is also an area where the Afghan government and NATO forces believe Al-Qaeda are very active, claims dismissed by the Taliban. The whole area is secure and Sharia law is being applied here and all the people are very happy. We have no links with Al-Qaeda. We are Taliban fighters under the command of Mullah Omar. We are not associated with Al-Qaeda. The redeployment of U.S. troops has angered some Afghan army commanders. They fear they may not be able to defend this crucial area in the near future. With its soaring peaks, steep gullies and maze of caves, the Taliban are likely to enjoy some sort of ideal hideout for now. Until a few months ago, securing the Pech Valley and eastern Afghanistan had been key to the US strategy for defeating the Taliban. Now that strategy seems to have shifted towards securing southern cities like Kandahar and Helmand. The shift might reflect the growing pressure on military commanders to show progress before the U.S. starts withdrawing some troops this summer. Hashim al-Bara al-Jazeera, Kabul.